Welcome to the open ceremony of the Zhen Guifi Brush, the solo exhibition of the Chinese calligraphy and in painting by Professor Xiao Cixuan at Chungpia Tech Art Gallery. My name is Louis Lee, the MC for today. This ceremony is jointly hosted by Master Chi Sun and back to Chungpia Temple and Melody Chen, the life only president of War Arts and Multiculture. To begin by knowledge and tradition of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people of whose land we are gathered here today. Can I acknowledge Master Chie Sun, Abex of Chongtian Temple? Can I acknowledge Melody Chen, the top host, the life of the president of all arts and multiculture? Professor Xiao, the renowned master artist, there's a reason why I'm here today. Professor Chen Lai, Director General of Taipei Economy and Culture Office in Brisbane, and of the Jin Chamber. The advisor for all the seats for community activities. Chair one, the commissioner for all the seats for community activities. Kim Wu, the president of Buddha Life International Association of Queensland. Chong Li Yang, the president of Lions Club Brisbane Chinese. Technically one, the managing director of Queensland Chinese Thai. Chi Tian Sai, former mayor of Tainan City, and Chuan Wen Da, the National Taiwan Noma University. The host and our backs of Chongqian Temple to deliver her speech. Master Chia San, please. Good afternoon. I would like to start by acknowledging the traditional owner of this land, past and the present. So the distinguished player, Mark Stewart, he's not here, but he will be here soon. And we also have Michael and Duncan and Councillor Stephen Paul and Mr. Ken Clark. Assistant Commissioner Paul Stewart and Russell Stoller and all the distinguished guests and fellow venerables, members of Buddha Sahar, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to Chongtian Art Gallery. So in 1994, the Venerable Master Xin Yun opened his first art gallery in Taiwan with the vision to use artistic expression as a means of building a bridge between the East and the West, hereby encouraging greater understanding and appreciation of different cultures. So it was fitting the first display held at the Zhongtian Art Gallery, was only one of the by Venerable Master Xin Yun titled One Straw Art Calligraphy, where through a single straw, a brush, he created a stick it works that share a great meaning on life. So today, we are honored to be standing in the vintage of another magnificent display of calligraphy. And this display is titled Zen Within Brush. So I will leave it up to a distinguished and talented artist to share a little on his works. But I do wish to thank Professor Xiao Xinchong, who has traveled a great distance to bring these great and elegant works that we are fortunate to see on the wall surrounding us today. I invite everyone here today to take your time and enjoy all these rich cultural images created by Professor Xiao. So finally, I would like to thank you, our great friends, Melody Chen and also Julie Wu, for their support in organizing this wonderful display. And I thank also all of our teams who have assisted. May Buddha bring peace to each of our lives and guide us all on the path of happiness. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Director General Ken Lai, Taipei Economy and 
Agriculture Office in Brisbane, can I have Mr. Penny Hyde, please? Uh, thank you, Luis. Thank you very much. Uh, please allow me to speak in Mandarin for the Taiwanese community. Sanzhu 特斯拉台中心董主任那这个之前呢我赶快做了一下功课我们肖教授的书法之后呢我觉得我们肖教授的书法呢是书法中有画画中有书法真是令人佩服那为什么肖教授能够做出这么好的作品呢因为我们肖教授他呢不但是突破创新而且融合了传统书法跟现代书法也就是书活要跟生活融合它叫做其祭一月不能食步跟世上跟静坐时候的老婆是一样的我们有这个度假打工的青年们那我们今天呢新科技还有经贸的提供者
，一个呢就是文化交流的推动者，再来呢就是中华文化的领航者。借着这次书法的展览，让外国人士更了解台湾，以及了解台湾保存并弘扬中华文化的成就。所以呢，我要非常感谢，感谢世界多元文化艺术协会。还有冬天是三师傅、肖教授来共同举办这样的展览，让我们一起给他们掌声，好不好？最后，我要祝福这次的书法展顺利圆满，各位乡亲、道亲，平安喜乐、满满、法喜充满，谢谢。
uh, the Director General, Penny Lai. Great to see you and your lovely wife again. Uh, I'd like to, to acknowledge the, the elected members of Parliament that are here today, my, my colleague and neighbour, the uh, Freya Ostropovich, the member for Streatham, and uh, our councillor in Sunnybank, Stephen White. Great to see you at uh, Councillor for McGregor, I apologise. Uh, but these sorts of events uh, don't go along. We've got a lot of other distinguished uh, guests here this evening and community representatives, and that's wonderful to see that we have such a strong, uh, strong community here. Uh, it's great to see that we're, we're also joined by uh, the Assistant Commissioner, uh, Paul Stewart, uh, and also his uh, wonderful colleagues that are all go a long way to helping to make our community a safe place for families. Uh, these sorts of events don't just happen, they take a lot of work, a lot of support from people, and I think, uh, Melody, you've done a wonderful job in helping to bring this event here today, uh, and of course, uh, the artists, uh, you've, you've done a uh, Professor Sheepcorn, uh, you've done a wonderful job, there's some wonderful artwork all around. I don't actually know what any of it does say, I'll be 100% honest with you, I can't read it, but I'll be looking forward to finding the interpretation of some of that as we go around. Uh, thank you for having me, it's a wonderful opportunity, so close to the electorate of Sunnybank, and it's a great to see that we can enrich our community through wonderful works of art and a wonderful, wonderful temple here. Thanks for having me. Well, it's a great pleasure to be here again amongst all my friends. And uh, this is about my fourth art gallery that uh, I've had the pleasure of opening, along with my colleague Mark Stewart and, of course, Councillor Stephen Park and all the other many distinguished guests here. Director General Lai, good to see you again, and all of the commissioners. Lynn, Michelle, Wayne Co, all of our friends. Um, look, this, this particular art show is extremely unique because I think from a perspective of um, an Australian, we consider art to be more of a, a picture, you know, a photograph or something uh, that we can uh, in interpret. But with your calligraphy, uh, it's something very special and very unique to the Chinese culture. And I must say that it's so important that the Taiwanese have kept this culture going in Taiwan because we know that the traditional Chinese language, the written language, is being lost in mainland China. And that's why it's so very important that a Calendar Community College um, and Lawrence Kumbh, who is not here, and myself, have worked so hard to bring the traditional Chinese language to Australia so it can be kept, so that, so that uh, you can um, keep that rich culture and history of the Chinese mainland right through wherever the Chinese have settled. And so it's with great pleasure that I'm here to see this art form kept alive and well. And Master, you've done an amazing job. I wish that I could appreciate it as much as the other community do. Of course, I can't possibly because it's not my culture. But I can see the hard work that's gone into it. And I know how difficult it is to do this traditional calligraphy. So I commend you. And I thank you so very much for bringing it to Brisbane and Queensland. And I've just left the, uh, the, the uh, Minister for Multicultural Affairs and Torres Strait Islander, uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, and he would like to uh, express his uh, disappointment. He couldn't be here, but he's got a number of other functions uh, today, as he has all week, as part of Cultural Diversity Week. And uh, I too have just come from two functions already, and I have many more to go. And don't forget the Taiwan Festival tonight. Xie xie.
我们这边非常需要像这个肖教授所这个带来的这种充满禅味的文化气息，因为我们布里斯本，我们东南昆士兰地区是一个非常多元化的地方，我们去，我们感谢这个肖教授为我们带来这样子一个可以丰富我们文化生活的这个书法展，但是身为这个一个佛教徒，我想。一个富有禅味的书法展，真的是可遇不可求。所以说，今天在这边要代表布布里斯本市政府，感谢我们肖教授，这个这一次前来，也感谢这个主办单位，尤其是这个中天市来我们成就院会展，哦，在过去这么长的时间以来，对这个地方文化活动的付出，谢谢你们。那在这里也希望这个大家能够感受到今天这一些这个书法里面。这个除了文字的优美之外，还有这个禅的意境。其实我刚刚站在后面，我已经有在看了这个解释，因为这个说实话，这个十二岁就来，有些字我还真的是看不太懂。<笑>不过不过刚刚看到这个里面的解释，真的觉得这些意境非常的优美，而且主要是这一种对于人生的一种了解，对于佛法的这个参悟，真的是相当不容易的事情。所以说，再次感谢这个肖教授还有主办单位，这一次能够呃花这么大的心思、这么大的心血来丰富我们这个地方的文化生活。谢谢你们。Mr. Stone， 谢谢。Thank you. I'd also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we've been today, and great respect to the elders past and present. I'd also like to acknowledge Master Trishan. Thank you again for the invitation to attend. Um, and other distinguished guests. Um, it's a great honour, as always, to be here at the Chiltown Temple and in this wonderful gallery. I've been to many exhibitions here over the past few years. I'd, also, I'd like to congratulate the artists. Um, welcome, Professor Shaw, to Brisbane, and to see a wonderful work here. Um, the gallery has a long association with artists from Taiwan, and uh, every year we celebrate with my sister Shaw uh, Buddha's birthday. Um, at the gallery, and the beautiful body tree by the time is a living way. So it's a very important annual event for us, um, working with the gallery and the Buddhist Life International Association. Um, I read in your statement, um, Professor, about the struggles that you've had in your life and um, coming to this place um, in your heart. And I think what you've come through with your calligraphy is incredibly strong and incredibly um, precise. And you seem to have found a centre of calm in that, as you say, the title of the test for calligraphy and Zen. So congratulations very much on your exhibition. So I'd just like to thank everyone um, for being here today and um, enjoy the exhibition. Thank you. He has done 
the ability to connect Taiwan and the mainland China in the field of culture together. Nobody can achieve this kind of greater performance, but uh, he has done it. Everybody should agree with me with this point, right? And my good friend who 
飞山庄。那更让我意想不到的，非常的意外的啊！我在台湾呢，我只能通过电视看到我们这个许立伟、许天才立伟。今天非常荣幸，也很激动啊，在这边啊碰到他，并且我想都没有想到他竟然也能够在我的展览会上用英文来呃为我说到那么多的好话。It's really touching to see that Doctor Xu, the latest leader from Taiwan, I used to saw him on TV. I was really surprised to saw him in person and also give a speech. In my exhibition in English and Chinese. Ah, uh, this all show me so. Ah, in in this, ah, we, this, the Lord, ah, has arranged all the plans. This of course was arranged by the Buddha. Ah, I have been uh, researching and uh, practicing calligraphy for over forty years. 呃，我给我自己的一个提醒啊，啊，刚刚我们吴组长也讲啊，希望书馆能够生活化。It is my desire and also the director general has said that the curriculum be become the life of text in the mind。这对不起，我应该是赖处长啊，对不起啊，这个，呃，那么各位看我的这个作品，传统。跟现代都具备。If you look at my works, they have included traditional and modern. 其实呢，我在做书画创作呢，我是啊把书写的内容详细了解之后，哦，我再去感觉应该怎么样的把它呈现。When I create all this curriculum, of course, I I would study and think before I put my thinking into my painting or brushes. 那么书法呢，啊，一定要在传统的基础，然后呢，啊，融合现代的美学，啊，做一个创新跟突破。Calligraphy has to be based on the tradition, and then we, uh, create according to the modern, uh, arts. 所以我给我的书法一个名字是具有古典主义的现代书法。That's why I call my calligraphy is a. A traditional of classes. 也可以说是啊，新古典书法。我也可以是 new traditional curriculum。呃，今天看到在场这么多的贵宾，内心非常的感激。I'm really touched to see so many VIPs tomorrow. 虽然书法啊，有一些啊，我们这个。澳洲的有人，你可能看不懂它的内容，可是你透过画面上的呈现，我想你心里有一点感觉，应该就可以了。I can understand for the uh, local uh, Australian, you might not understand the meaning of the curriculum, but I hope that you can feel from your heart. 我想艺术是无国界的。I think、uh, art is without、uh, borders. 透过画面上的啊啊布局啊一种对比，我想多多少少大家都会有一点共鸣的。I hope that I hope with this calligraphy and and the way that I present them, that that will bring some feeling to your heart. 所以今天啊这个展览会，我最后我除了感谢之外。还是感谢，谢谢大家今天的光临。看。
Commissioner, um, the art exhibition today, what, is, uh, what does that mean for you personally? Uh, I think art is something that transcends all cultures and, and even though the calligraphy is written in another language, you can actually feel the emotion and the, the professor, Professor Ziao, that, that's done this work, you can feel uh, his emotion, you can feel uh, the, the feelings from his heart come out through the artwork and I think it brings people together, it brings cultures together and, um, and from our point of view, from a policing point of view, that's a, a good thing for us. We, we strongly believe in, in a multicultural Queensland and, and we're very supportive of that and we respect and appreciate the partnership that we have uh, with many communities throughout, um, throughout Queensland including uh, the community here from the, the Chung Chan uh, Buddhist temple and we really appreciate and acknowledge that. So the artwork I think uh, is one way of expressing that uh, togetherness and, and, and approach uh, culturally between um, our people. Uh, we were talking earlier and uh, you, you uh, expressed that you yourself are an artist in a different form but uh, how do you think that really uh, helps uh, with the younger people today? Uh, do you think that we should be pushing more uh, uh, creativity uh, to help them with a lot of social problems? Oh, definitely. We've, um, we've got some really good programs going with the Police Citizens Youth Club and with young people uh, that are expressing their feelings and, and, and their desires and, and their dreams and goals in art. And it's really, really powerful, the medium of art, not only for those, the artists themselves, but also um, people like us that come to the gallery and that experience the feelings and, and the depth of feeling that the artwork creates and, and particularly for our troubled youth it, it's a way of expressing some of their concerns, some of their troubles in a, a really um, proactive and constructive way rather than, than a destructive way. So I think art is a critical part of our culture and, and certainly young people I, I, I agree it's something, a, a way that they can express themselves and it's very very important in their growth and their development. Um, you said that this is your favourite piece of calligraphy. Uh, I'd like to share uh, your feelings about this. Uh, this one in particular uh, got me the three different styles uh, within the calligraphy. Um, again, I'd love to be a master and understand and know exactly what it is, but it's just something that, that touched me and touched my heart as I walked around and looked at all the different pieces. It was, um, it was the one that stood out for me. Thank you. Russell, uh, you're here once again uh, to the Art Gallery. Uh, what are your thoughts on this work? Um, it's a beautiful exhibition. I mean, I think he's an artist who has clearly had many decades of um, refining his work as a calligrapher and working through the traditions, but is really able to take it into so many directions. I mean, there's so much variety in this exhibition. You can tell that he's looking at a very modern approach um, to traditional calligraphy. Yeah. Um, you've probably been to every single art launch we've had at the gallery, uh, at this gallery. Um, You've got a very close relationship to the temple. Uh, would you just like to share a little bit about that? Um, it's an incredibly important relationship for, for me and for the Queensland Art Gallery. Um, it's one that's been developed over many years. And what I love about the temple is the fact that it really connects to the community in such a rich way. And I think the gallery is such an important part of that. And the fact that you put art in the centre of what you do. Um, I see a lot of connection between what we do at the gallery as well. I mean, we're a public organisation, a community organisation as well. We sort of open our doors to everybody. Um, and art is, and creativity is really at the core of that. So I think there's a wonderful synergy. Um, and the fact we've been able to work together on so many projects has really bound that very, very strongly. And it's very valuable. Uh, we first met at the Bodhi Tree. Um, how's that project going? Well, it keeps growing. It's um, an absolutely beautiful tree and a beautiful work by a very important artist from Taiwan. And um, the fact that we're able to reconnect with it every year with the Buddha Light International Association and the temple to celebrate Buddha's birthday makes it all the more special. And to, you know, the temple was so fundamental in helping us bring the tree to Australia. And the fact that we can 
celebrate that and honour that for the Buddha every year is an incredibly important um, ceremony and moment for us. Um, I believe you're off to a new position overseas in Singapore. Um, what does that mean for you? Um, it's an exciting new journey, I think. I mean, it's a very interesting city. Um, there's a very strong emphasis on culture. And I'm going to be working at a new national gallery, which is really looking at the history of art in Southeast Asia, as well as Singapore. And to be involved in that and the development of that is an incredible honour, I think. So I'm, I'm very excited. Very sad to be leaving Brisbane and the gallery and um, every, all my friends here, but um, I'm sure we'll stay in touch. And um, yeah, it's, it's been an extraordinary period. First, Hayo 现代的美学能够写出具有一个时代性的一个时代能够真的现代的人能够去让他有所感动的不是遵守过去一成不变的一个写法所以看过的人都虽然不知道里面在写什么可是从整个画面他也有一点感觉也有一点感动这是我最感到高兴的地方然后我去读大学的时候说看得很清楚所感动可以跟我这个研奏者能够有一点共鸣然后经过不断的沟通所以这个比我在台湾办展是更来的不容易
，诶，感知到这里的啊、呃、朋友啊、呃，对啊、呃、这个艺术的这样的关注，也对我个人的支持，啊、呃，利用这个机会呢，也表达一点非、呃、这个很诚挚的感谢啊。真的非常高兴，因为又做了一个啊、呃、台湾跟澳洲的文化艺术展览。这次的展览非常的特别，肖世崇教授从台湾亚洲大学啊、呃、来的，他一生四十年的心血，四十年的经验，把他在所学的国文底子，加上他生活的周遭环境，孕育他这种独特的生活意识、书法美学。今天这样的一个展览，贵宾云集，也非常的感谢中天市、中天美术馆、杰善师傅对这个啊艺、呃、文活动的推动跟支持，有很多的啊、呃、主办单位、协办单位，哈、啊，都共同来成就这样的一件事情。希望我们这个台澳意识文化交流能够持续不断，越办越好。谢谢大家。身为一个文化推动工作者，对一些很杰出的啊、呃、艺术家，我都会去啊、呃、欣赏他的作品，然后把他介绍给我们这么庄严的中天美术馆，让。更多的啊、呃、好朋友，艺文界的好朋友来这里分享，来认识中天美术馆，来认识中天市。我想这样的作品应该要有非常深的文学底子，才有办法展现这样子的一个美学意识风范。因为这个是响应我们星云大师。以文化弘扬佛法，生活中一点一滴都是修行，然后把这个书法的呈现，让大家看得很欢喜。